In this video, we'll be covering how to use the strains functionality in FlowHub to add our genetics. Let's get started. Let's navigate to the strains section of the platform. To get there, we're going to select ourselves at the bottom left of the page, go to Manage, and our Location Management. At the top, we're going to select this drop-down and go to Strains. The purpose for the strains catalog is to manage the naming conventions for all of our bulk flour, pre-packed flour, including joints, seeds, and clones that we sell at our dispensary. Before trying to add these items into our inventory, we want to make sure that we have added the necessary strains. Select the addition symbol to the top right of the page to bring up the new strains window. The required fields to save a strain are going to be the strain name and the species of strain. Let's start by adding your favorite or your top selling strain. The more robust we build this window out, the more your customer will see if utilizing a third party live menu integrator like iHeartJane, Dutchie, and Leafly. Now, some of these integrators differ with what information will be presented on your live menus. If you plan to integrate with one of these, please reach out to your third party online menu rep to make sure that you're adding the necessary data. The details will be available for your bud tenders to view while in the cashier tab. Some examples of what you can enter in the details section can be the genetic history of the strain, the health benefits, side effects, or even activities done when used. Over to the right is our cannabinoid ranges. If we'd like to include a range of cannabinoids, we can enter that here. When adding flour to your inventory, these ranges will auto-populate. You can edit this information at that time for up-to-date test results. Once we selected Save, we'll see our strain populate in our strains catalog. If you're looking to market your flower based on cultivation, we can add the cultivation name to accompany the strain name as well. If you'd like to upload via CSV, let's select the option to download the template. The best practice for the strains is ensure that you have the proper spelling and capitalization for the strain names. This information will be appearing on your labels, receipts, and live menus. In summary, we selected the addition symbol at the top right of the section, completed the window, and saved the strain to our strains catalog. Once you've completed this step, update this task status to done. If you need help, click the stuck button in your email or at mention us in the notes of this task.